Hey everybody, welcome to this shortwave radio channel and this is the tip number 31 for shortwave and we are today April 10th 2019 tip number 31 and by the way I give a date to these tips and people say well why do you give the date it's more for a reference knowing that you know what date I did what tip because these tips are pretty much uh, non-dated so every tip that I give will still be good in a year, two years from now. Today, and it comes from a question that somebody asked, and I thought, oh, you know what? It is a good question. What's the difference between ATS, Automatic Tuning System, and ETM, the Easy Tuning Mode? So, you know, you got a receiver like this one is a County Com or the Texan. It has a little ETM button right here, which tunes shortwave bands. And of course, you've got ATS also on this radio. We've got ATS. So you got both on the radio, and some have only ATS. And people are wondering, well, aren't they the same? They look like they're doing the same thing. Here's the thing. Look at the radios, and most of them will actually have the ATS functionality linked to specific bands. So the Texan PL 380, FM, medium wave, long wave. And the uh, County Com ATS is linked to FM and medium wave. Now, ETM doesn't have a link, an official link uh, by itself. Why? What's the difference? Okay, ATS, uh, Automatic Tuning System, is meant to be used on bands that have very little changes to them. It's meant to program automatically the frequencies for your local FM stations or your local medium wave stations or AM radio stations. It's basically a let's just scan the AM band and fill up the AM memories with the stations I hear and typically for most people that will be enough because that will be all the stations in their own city or around their city that will be in different memory channels. So it's an, an auto program of the memory channels for the AM mode or the FM radio mode or long wave mode in certain cases. It's not meant to be scanned every day. It's really meant to be something you will use from time to time if there's a new AM radio station for example you might want to reuse the ATS functionality to reprogram the channels and add whatever station has been added to the band or if you're in a new city you could press the ATS functionality it will scan and reprogram the frequencies with whatever AM FM station you have locally. The ETM, Easy Tuning Mode, is different. It's made for shortwave radio listening. It scans only the international broadcast bands. And what it does, it's actually there simply to do one thing. Simply add all the stations that it finds into temporary channels. So. ATS adds them permanently. You have them programmed in memory channels within the radio. The ETM isn't permanent. It's meant to be used over and over again because on shortwave, every half hour, every 15 minutes, things change. Uh, propagation makes some signals stronger, others uh, weaker. So ETM is meant to be used regularly to try to find what are some of the stations you can hear on shortwave at your location they're not meant to keep these well you can you know add them to your favorite memory channels but now they're not meant to be kept they're meant to be there temporarily to tell you well at this moment in time I have received these shortwave stations but unlike AM or FM where the stations are always the same shortwave stations change from hour to hour half hour to half hour day night so ETM is meant to be used regularly. So you use ATS, Automatic Tuning System on AM or FM, to program your memories with the local stations you can actually receive. Well, you'll use the ETM, Easy Tuning Mode, on the shortwave bands. Um, for example, if I use it now, I'll have a certain number of stations. And if I'm over with whatever station I found, or if there's nothing interesting, I'll wait 15 minutes, I'll wait half an hour, and I'll try the ETM again and see what other stations are actually coming in on shortwave. 
So that's the difference. ATS is meant to scan automatically for local stations on AM or FM, where ETM is meant to scan the shortwave international broadcast bands in search of signals, and these are stored in uh, temporarily, basically, because they are meant to be changed. The ETM functionality is meant to be used several times in uh, a listening session or in a day, where ATS will be used generally once. You'll get the local stations. They'll be pre-programmed, and it's an, kind of an easy way to program all the local stations into your radio without having to, you know, take each frequency and punch them in into the merry channels and all of that. It's kind of a, a quick way to program your radio with local stations, where ETM is meant to be there just to find shortwave stations. And of course, you can keep them in memory channels if you wish, but they, they're not meant to be kept. They're meant to be, ETM is meant to be used regularly to scan whatever new station on shortwave you can hear. So I hope that clears the difference between ATS, Automatic Tuning System, and ETM, which is Easy Tuning Mode. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.